welcome back to Marbella Now. My name is Nicole King and I'm delighted to be here with you once again. But now we're going out and about because there's so much going on in our city and the weather is wonderful. Join me. Hey, hey. There's nothing quite like Marbella in the early hours of the morning. And here we are in Scirocco. Uh, business first breakfast more people arriving 18 expected obviously sitting at different tables with the respective distancing but before we go in and meet Sam how can we resist let's take a little walk down to the ocean it is so nice at this time of day oh and how sad the boardwalk's gone and they've called it question mark. They couldn't call it the boardwalk and they don't know what to call it, so the new owners have put a question mark up there. Lovely to have just met you here at the business first meeting. Is this obviously your first business first meeting? Because you guys have just arrived to Spain. We've just arrived um, last summer in the middle of the pandemic um, and have decided to join as many business networking groups as we can to meet people. So what was the decision to actually pick up from the UK and move out here? Well, we lived a very busy, hectic London life. Um, life in the fast lane, as it were. Work, 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 work. We were commuters into the city of London and we just decided that we needed to make a, a positive change and a, a, a bigger life change and bring the children somewhere where they could have a better outdoor life and feel safer. I think a lot of us realised when we lost our liberties the values, the things that really matter. Yes. And it's lovely to see you changing from a very corporate world it would seem from what I've heard you talking about. Yes, so very corporate, quite serious, but I would leave home at seven in the morning, come home at eight o'clock, see the children for half an hour. And now it's the complete opposite. I'm seeing the children more and more. Um, they, they have a very fortunate life. They have a lovely school here. Um, and it's just an all round better setup for and us. And you a found family. a really nice new business to concentrate on that you're passionate about, I've also noticed. I am. Tell I us am. a bit about Mary Kay. So Mary Kay have been around for a really long time, since the 60s. It's an American but global brand, cosmetics brand. Um, and I do skincare parties and classes. So my, um, my passion is helping people with their skin and seeing an improvement in their skin without the need for injections and other fads and things that are happening in the industry. Um, lotions and potions, as it were. Um, and really educating youngsters with their skin and how to best look after their skin as they're growing through those teenage uh, years. I remember being stopped in a big department store as a teen and a woman trying to give me cream for my skin. And I was offended. Yes. I didn't understand yeah, the, the need. importance to nourish yeah. It's never too early and it's never too late to look after your skin, for sure. Especially when you live in the sun. So you are thoroughly enjoying the change, yes. especially now that you actually get out and about. And uh, congratulations on Thank making so such a much. big decision. Thank you. Lovely to meet you, Ellie. And to you. Grant Foster, you are a sports physio? I'm presently a sports massage therapist. I'm also now moving into mind-body coaching. That is very interesting. And we were talking about children and brain development and saying no all the time. And I'm just fascinated by your take on everything. You know what you're talking about. Yeah, the thing is, we see most of our limiting beliefs these days are from childhood. And they start basically without the parents realising what they're doing. They just say no to try and protect the child. Unfortunately, years later, that can inhibit them in all sorts of aspects of their life. Make them very stressful, make them think they're not worthy enough, make them don't believe in themselves, don't believe they can sing, dance, do art. So they're inhibited from an early age 
by no fault of the parents because the parents are busy dealing with their problems as well at the same time. So we are a consequence and we can't blame our parents because we do have a choice to, to change that as we get older and carry on believing it or we can carry on, we can try and change it. And this is where the new work I'm doing with Mind Body Connection, helping to pe release people's potential either through hypnosis, NLP, timeline therapy, coaching, to realise people's potential. And basically, we all have it within us. We have, our, we have our own key. Sometimes we just lose the direction to the door. And therefore, I can help people find that direction to the door so they can live a better life for themselves and for the future. A lot of times it's easier to speak about important issues with a person we don't know than with someone we do. So it's very important to have people like yourself who are available to talk through issues and help guide people on the right path. Correct, that's correct. I mean, I found that in my previous work, either when I've been personal training and now with a sports massage, that people open up and because I've not in the past been able to help them, I just listen and accept what they deal with. They're all going through problems. And because there's no thought from my side that whatever person's dealing with, they're dealing with. You know, there's no decisions on my part. What's wrong, what's right? Because we all have our own version of the world and everybody's version is different. So you cannot give, say, well, I wouldn't do that, I wouldn't do that. Because we're basically we're not in our, their shoes. And the person, is walking their path in the best way they know how with all their problems so we, can, we cannot make decisions on, on how a person lives their life we can help them find a better life a life more fulfilling a life of growth and contribution a way we can expand our consciousness thank you so much Gron I um, really wish you best of luck because we thank like you. helping people and people need help they do at this moment in time yes thank, thank you. you thank you Jasper, how nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think you had the shortest presentation out of everybody. Yeah. You said, I'm Danish, we do kitchens. Yes, but that's also the basic information. And that we do Danish kitchens. So, And we're located in Karatsele Mijas. And uh, we try to help people from the beginning of their dream until the dream is fully finished. So, um, is this your business? Yes, it is. And what made you, I mean, were you working in Denmark in kitchens? How did this come about? No, my history is actually a long history of furniture and interior decorating. And that's why it was a naturally, natural thing for me to join the kitchen world and got a good offer on, on doing this franchise here in Spain with a Danish factory. So. And what is special about the Danish manufacturing design? The special thing is both the design that we are very minimalistic, that um, we have a special Scandinavian touch, and also the special thing is the punctuality of the Danish production, that they can actually in two, three weeks have the kitchen ready for you here. So That's amazing. Process, yeah, the process doesn't have to, have to be lengthy. The kitchen is probably one of the most important rooms in a house. It's the heart of a home, mm -hmm. so having a nice kitchen is obviously very important. It is. And also because it's so important, but it's only a thing that you invest in like once or twice in your life. So it's actually a very difficult decision. You buy a new car more often than you buy a new kitchen. So. Very important yeah. to choose wisely. Yes. Well, yes, but lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. And best of luck. I hope people keep Thank on you. buying those kitchens. All right. Victoria, you really were very interesting and scary in your presentation. All about compliance rules for companies. What's all that about? Well, I do compliance, corporate compliance, which means that we help companies with all these steps that are required to comply with the different laws that apply to the businesses. And it's usually very difficult to know what applies to your business. And there are several rules that companies need to watch so they don't get in trouble, as I was saying. What would be the main things to look out for? I think everybody has a website, and websites now need to comply to the cookie law, which is, has become quite strict because of the abuse companies were doing with our data. They were just ca capturing our data for whatever they wanted, profiling us, selling our data become a millionaire business. Yes, and also a good way for people to initiate scams. 
Yes. They buy partial information and make it look like they know what they're talking about and trick people into giving information they shouldn't yes. be sharing. Well, now because things have changed and everybody is using more these devices and online working and social media. And so it, it is a, a new field for scams. Banks are advertising, please do not open, do not provide your information because people just trust it. You know, we need to be more careful and understand more what's happening. So if you have a website, you should be following some sort of you, you need to have. You need to apply cookies and there is a guideline from the Spanish agency as well as the ICO, which is the English regulator. Quite easy to follow and it explains what you need to do on cookies. So does your company evaluate what laws need to be adhered to to advise the companies how to do this? Yeah, we we see what the activity is and depending on the activity we'll tell the company you need to comply with these rules. Is it expensive to hire your services? It sounds like a very big deal and like it well, could be like, oh my it, it gosh. It really depends on the size of the company and the activity because if you have a lot of data and if your, comp your activity is complex or sensible, then of course it will take us more time and more effort. But if you're a small company, um, we have special rates, something like 250, to get you with the basic. I think small companies don't need any more. Fantastic. Well, Victoria, delighted to meet you and to learn something well, that we, I hadn't even wait, thought of. We are a training company, so what we do is we train companies, okay? So we are not lawyers, we, are, we train. Fabulous. Well, nice to hear something so different and so important. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> That's we it. have here Furniture World as Depona, is that right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, who would have thought that it would be such cheeky English faces <laughs> behind Furniture World as Depona? So you were saying, what were your guys' names? Derek. Robbie. Hi, Derek and Robbie. Hello. Really nice to meet you at the Business First meeting that you come to a lot also through uh, wonderful biz lunches with our Jeremy. Yeah. So nice to hear about your place, but you have a world of furniture, a big place. Yeah, it's uh, eight units four of which are open to the public, all with a mezzanine flooring. We sell everything. Um, you can buy a teaspoon to a complete furniture package. We also incorporate barbecue world and carpet world. So we do all your floorings um, and we have all the latest American pellet groups. So anything you need for your home, we have it. And decorating our terrace and balconies yeah, yes, and yeah, everything. Grass on the terrace and, and I like to say I'm pretty proud of the service that we give. It's not just the, uh, the products, it's also the service. And uh, we're never late. <laughs> Which is very, very important. Very important. Very no, important it's very me. frustrating waiting for people to come at 12 and they I three you yeah, asking, exactly. where are they? Yeah. I don't like the, the, I'll be there in 10 minutes and they know that they're going to take an hour. <laughs> it's just a Spanish way. It's, it's a very Spanish way. But, uh, it's like yeah. when we're leaving home, we're saying, estoy llegando. Sí. <laughs> cinco minutos, cinco minutos. <laughs> cinco minutos, yes. Yeah, Lived yes. here a long time. But yes. that's one of the reasons I like it. Yes. <laughs> In yes. the sense it lets relaxed, you off the hook a bit. <laughs> don't have to be so perfect, except if you're a business first meeting. Sorry. Well, I will, this is not a threat, but I will be coming to visit you guys. Good. Looking yeah, forward to doing some shopping. Yes, make sure you do. Lovely to meet you. All right, same thing. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Lucia. It's really lovely to meet you. I loved your little in late introduction when you came in. Oh, just with the kids and COVID. It's a lot of reorganizing, isn't it, with life oh, yes. lately? Definitely, definitely. How Challenging you, times. Challenging times. What do you do for a living, sweetheart? Yeah, I'm a financial advisor working for Black Tower. Been in the industry for 20 years. You're not old enough to have been in any industry for 20 years. <laughs> well, I did my studies and I worked hard <laughs> to achieve that. So and try to help people when they come to relocate here. So obviously, what would be the main things that trip people up when they move to a foreign country? Main things is how taxes work here in Spain. So they need to get onto the padron, they need to get all the paperwork right, they need to understand the system here, what they need to declare, how to declare it, and then just to put them in touch with the right person for doing that for them. It's very important, isn't it, having the right contacts when you to yeah. get things right, to know who to trust and responsible. Definitely, definitely. Because here on the coast you can come across a lot of cowboys, but and then in the end you need to find the right person to, to go to. So that's uh, important to have trusted people uh, within the, the place where you live. Well, it's lovely to meet you. And I know the Black Tower obviously is a very reputable company. And it's really lovely to see so many people here supporting each other right up my street. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you very much. You are so welcome. Lovely to meet you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey, hey. 
Judy likes to consider herself a clever young woman, which is why she thought very carefully before choosing her insurance company. Now that she needs it, she's jolly glad she chose Linear Director, as it looks as if she might have something better to do. Why don't you be clever, like Judy? Call Linear Director on 952 14 78 34 and see which policy is best for you. When I'm the designated driver, I think it's only fair that I get to choose a Zero Hero venue that rewards me with free soft drinks. My friends all get to choose and booze, and they feel safe going home with me. Make sure that you get your reward for being the designated driver. Why pay if you don't have to? Hi guys, Ross here from Hoganstown. Proud to be a member of the Zero Hero campaign. And, uh, we recommend everybody, nobody drives drinking, everybody who drives a car doesn't have any alcohol in their system and we're proud to sponsor Zero Hero Program. GYN is happy to be Zero Hero Partner. How cool is that? <laughs> GYN. Glad okay. I are proud to present Zero to Hero. Never drink and drive. And thank you for inviting me to your breakfast, but out and in Marbella at 8.30 for a business first meeting. It's a first for me. It was wonderful. Congratulations. Oh, my pleasure. And it's only taken you. Eight years? Eight years. Eight years, eight years. Eight years. At eight o'clock, that's not bad going. That's but you used to going. do them in different areas, so like getting dressed to Pona, and also because of just my timetable, was difficult to Absolutely. coordinate. But yeah. how wonderful that today I'm here, and I certainly would like to continue to come. Very nice people. Thank you ever so much, and I would love, love for you to come back. 13 yeah. years. Yeah. I mean, anything that survives more than 18 months in the coast is a success. How's it been for you? networking because you're one of the first I suppose business networking since the original one say yeah. 30 years ago yeah. but there was active to not just have lunches but actually to what I always emphasize promote each other exactly because I'm just passionate about it I love helping people and I think that's what it's about you've met some of the members here and they are so lovely and they want to help each other and they want everybody to be successful and I want everyone to be successful and I think that's why I've been fortunate it has lasted so long. You have different groups along the coast, you've had different groups but now you're concentrating on the Marbella and Mijas, is that correct? Correct, yeah. I've got one at El Chaparral which is my first one which has been going for be 13 years in January. Yeah, and we have about 26 members in that group, it's a big, big group. Um, Marbella we launched probably about 10 years ago but the group has been shut for the last year due to Covid and we work really well with these guys here at Chirocco and they've only just reopened, in fact open today especially for us which is lovely. It is nice to show that there is that appreciation of the history that you have together which is I think a lot of people forget to respect the residents and they've, and they've noticed this during lockdown. Exactly, exactly. They really looked after us and I wanted to repay it by waiting for them and giving them the business again for local businesses. So the ethos of your group is what? In the sense it's not just come have breakfast, you have a format and, and a schedule. Exactly. We come, people have tea coffee to start off with and then we have breakfast so you get to sit mingle chat with everybody over breakfast which i think is lovely because it's really relaxed breakfast is finished i stand up and i introduce myself and then everybody introduces themselves and then usually after that a member would present to the group the services and what they do um, any questions after that and then we talk about news in the area so it'll be what's local to marbella um, business news, anything that's going on with the Hunter and Lucia, etc, etc. And then we talk about referrals, if anybody's having new business, and then any other business they want to talk about, and then we close. We try and keep it finished about 10, so people can go straight to the office afterwards as well. Now it makes sense if you are a business person, 
you can't be running out for all these gallivanting for exactly, lunches and things. Exactly. So I, I don't think there are many breakfast clubs like yours. We are the only one actually that does it. And I wanted it for that reason. So we could come, have breakfast, hopefully you walk away with some business and then you go straight to work. So it hasn't been such an impact on your day. And it was nice to see the variety of people here and everyone very respectful of each other. Yeah, which is lovely, I have to say. You do have to be vetted to a certain extent to join the group. Um, you have to obviously be a legitimate business. You have to be registered, pay your taxes, etc., etc. here to do that. And you have to be a people person, really. It's the only way you can network. You have to enjoy people. Well, I came in a little bit shy, as did Ellie. And it's funny, although I do the TV, but everyone was very welcoming. The nice thing is also that everyone gets to present their businesses to see how they coordinate together yeah. you yourself and for many years have been representing <laughs> ibex insurance <laughs> beautiful blouse there Thank and a you. corporate image <laughs> i know that you enjoy it it's nice to represent a company that you believe in yourself yeah absolutely absolutely love working for them being with them now 10 years next year actually and the manager of the benavista office um, and again people buy from people although i have the name they still buy from me and i hope that's down to the service and the honesty uh, and the helpfulness that I give them, yeah. But it is, it, it is the people, that's why the, no one really is competition for anyone else because we all seem to connect with the people we're meant to connect exactly. with. Exactly, absolutely, absolutely. And that's why we are such good friends. Yes, and, and, and I think that's how it should yeah, be. Absolutely. And I'm just delighted to have been invited oh, to the goodness. breakfast. And yes, I would certainly try and come to the meetings. They're every two weeks. Every two weeks here, yeah. And I believe that you mentioned because normally you would close in summer, but having this year been so difficult, I think we need each other more than ever. Absolutely. We're not in for a normal summer. Not at all. I think, again, usually we would break for the summer because most people have family and friends coming over. That's not going to happen quite quickly. So, and because we've relaunched, I mean, as you noticed today, there were lots of new people that have only just come over to the close. So I think it's important we stay open and help these people promote them. Yeah, that was interesting them. with Solomon and Ellie because yeah. they really are what we've been mm. talking about. Lockdown, yeah. don't want this long job, don't want these long hours, don't yeah. want the dark days. Absolutely. Let's move out to Spain. It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah, and it's always lovely to meet new people and try and help them as much as you can and give them as much exposure as well. Yeah. Fabulous. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Business first, Sam Campbell first. Yay. <laughs> Out of bounds, Zero Hero Partners. Here we are, sticker going on. Delighted to welcome everybody and to be part of the Zero Hero campaign. Delighted. One, one. We are Hero. Welcome here. here. And the Hero, welcome to Portofino, Cabo Pino. Hi guys, Casa Tua is proud to welcome the Zero Heroes. So come on in and enjoy free soft drinks for anyone who is the designated driver. Thank you, Nicole. comes and wants to join our Zero Hero uh, Association, they will have free uh, non-alcoholic drinks at our venue at any time. Hi Nicole and a big hello to all the Marbella Now viewers. I'm very happy to be here today and let you know a few things that are coming up in and around Marbella. As restrictions lift and confidence grows, there's definitely a change in the air and a feeling of positivity and a demand to start meeting face to face and get back into the swing of events. I was very happy to help launch the Spanish networking group Cite Estepona on the 20th of May with a lovely networking event at La Buena Vida in Estepona. It was really interesting to see the demand for places and we actually had to close the list at 40 people to ensure there was enough space to meet social distancing requirements. We're now planning the next event and we'll be holding them on a monthly basis on the third Thursday of the month. So there's a date for your diary for any Spanish speaking entrepreneurs out there. The Costa Women groups are also ramping up their activities with events up and down the coast, social and business. Networking group B2B Club has also launched a Marbella group 
and we have Business First meeting regularly too. These networking groups are a great way to promote your business and to grow your referral network and cement your reputation in the area. So I definitely recommend them and it's so nice to be able to do them face to face. There are two more exciting events coming up that I wanted to let you know about. The first is a charity gala being organised by the charity Collective Calling on Friday the 4th of June at the Anantara Villa Padiena Palace. This is going to be a wonderful chance for all of us to dust off our finery and put on our glad rags for a great cause. There'll be a Rat Pack tribute band, a three course dinner with unlimited drinks throughout, a photo shoot with vintage cars and a charity auction. And of course we all know what a beautiful venue Villa Padiena is. Collective Calling is aiming to raise 15,000 euros with this gala to build houses for street children in Tanzania, as well as help grow local projects in Spain, such as their Inspiring Futures programme, which will train, develop and inspire people and get them back into the workplace. Tickets cost 120 euros and that includes a 40 euro donation to the charity. You can get your ticket by calling the charity on 711-006-961 or emailing collectivecalling at gmail.com. And you can find out more about the charity and the work they're doing by visiting their website, collectivecalling.org. It would be great to see some of the Marbella Now viewers there. The second event I wanted to tell you about is another charity event, but this time with a focus on our environment. Environmental charity Mimo Anna and ambassadors for the End Plastic Soup Foundation, the Rotary Clubs in Marbella Guadalmina, Mijas, Marbella International and Estepona Soto Grande, want to encourage us all to take action for the environment on the 5th of June, which marks World Environment Day. This event will be perfect for the whole family and offer fun and educational activities centred around the world's plastic problem. The aim of the Action Day is to increase awareness of the challenges we face with plastic waste and encourages everyone to get involved with tackling the project problem by cleaning up plastic waste wherever they find it. From 10am to 3pm on Saturday the 5th of June, everyone's welcome on Playa Venus, on the Paseo and around the Puerto Deportivo in Marbella. You can join in with the beach and underwater cleanup on Playa Venus from 10am and help the team from Me, Moana and Diving with Nick to remove plastics and wastes from the shore and the water to help protect wildlife and stop items being added to the so-called plastic soup that is developing in our oceans. There are also some lovely activities for kids who, as we know, need to engage with this problem as it's their future we're affecting. They can come along and paint shells, draw, create statements for the world, colour in pictures and get their face painted. They can also learn from the Me Moana educational table. And the Rotary Clubs will be showing videos of exciting new innovations for cleaning up this plastic soup and sharing information on plastic pollution and recycling. So there's lots to learn and lots to enjoy while doing your bit for the environment. You can find out more information about the event on Me Moana's Facebook page or visit memoana.org. I'm really excited and happy to see all this activity taking place again and can't wait to reconnect with friends, contacts and collaborators this summer. Keep your eye out on social media and in the press for more great events and help charities and businesses work their way out of this crisis while having a great time. I hope to see some of you out and about very soon. The weeks are passing by so quickly. It seemed just a few moments ago I recorded my 300th program and now we are 308 over and done. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to my guests and obviously to all the RTV Marbella team. A big thank you also to participating Zero Hero venues. The list is getting longer and longer here in Marbella. We've got in Mijas, we've got in all over the place just growing with the interest because people do care about your safety. It's nice to go out and drink and have fun but we all want to get back safely to go out another day. So keeping our road safety a awareness please do follow our zero hero pages on instagram and facebook and share the information with your friends because hashtag we are better together and if you are the designated driver please do choose a zero hero
Euro venue. Why pay if you don't have to? Well, that's it for today. Check out recordings of this program and all the other programs from the rtvmarbella.tv website. But you can also go to nicoleking.es because from my website, you've got an easy link to the TV, also to my Marbella Moments column in the Euro Weekly News and also full listings of the Zero Hero partners in zerohero.es. That's it for me for this week. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I look forward to welcoming you back next week. Hasta la semana que viene. Cuidaros. Just believe it.